If you spend time in the sun, you may have damaged your skin, but there is help to rejuvenate it. Dr. Charlie Finn of Finn Facial Plastics joins me now to explain. And first, Dr. Finn, can you tell us when we're out in the sun what type of damage we are doing to our skin? Oh boy, we're doing so many different types of damage. Generally, when we're out in the sun in the summer, we're putting sunscreen on first thing in the morning and forget to do it the rest of the day. Oh. Sunscreen is only good for about two hours, and if you don't reapply it, you might as well not put it on in the first place. Wow. The other important thing to consider is what kind of sunscreen you're using. Some of the earlier sunscreens from the 80s would only block the type of radiation that would cause sunburn, but not the type of radiation that would cause wrinkles and skin cancer. Mm. So people would spend too much time in the sun because they didn't get that warning that a sunburn was coming on to go inside. Right. The newer sunscreens will cover both UVA and UVB, but need to be reapplied during the day. Well, of course, we hear the message over and over again to wear the sunscreen in the summer, but what about the other times of the year? You know, sunscreen is really for every day. It needs to be done cloudy days. It needs to be done sunny days. It needs to be done in the winter. It needs to be done in the summer. Just the radiation you get driving your car through the window is enough to cause wrinkles and sun damage. Wow. Okay, let's talk about fixing that Retin-A chemical peel laser. What is that? Ah, they're all good stuff. So, <laughs> so what's important is to have good guidance for taking care of your skin. A good dermatologist, a good plastic surgeon, a good facial plastic surgeon that can guide you as to what's important. It gets a little overwhelming looking at the cosmetic counter, how many different products are out there to treat these sort of things. And a lot of them, quite honestly, are fluff and smoke and mirrors and something that may not be worth the money that you're spending on it. Um, retinoids are really a foundation of taking care of skin. So what a Retin-A does is it helps actually thicken up the skin, increase the skin cell turnover, so it helps with brown spots, and by thickening up the skin, helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Mm. The important thing is Retin-A is deactivated by the sunlight, so you can only use it at night. There okay. are several different brands that have Tretinoin, which is the, the generic version of the drug that's in Retin-A, and it's whichever one you tolerate that works best for you. And that's a good foundation to use at night. There are many other topical products that can be useful depending on what you're treating and what your skin type is. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has rosacea or a lot of redness, one product may help. If someone has more brown spots, then you think more of bleaching cream or hydroquinone that can help. Okay, and of course you can guide your patients because you have an expertise in working on the face. Absolutely, and as a matter of fact, not only me, but my whole team, including the nurses and, and the rest of our staff is very educated on what works and what helps. And, and we want people not to just spend money, but to find something that really works and is practical and makes a difference on your skin. Gotcha. So while also at your office, I can also get work done to freshen my skin to make it look uh, brighter. There are so <laughs> many different things we can do. So, so the next level of treatment past the topicals, you can think about other superficial peeling treatments, whether it's a laser or whether it's a superficial chemical peel. Both those can be very useful to freshen up the skin, take that old dead layer off, Mm -hmm. But all those work better if you have the foundation of the topical preparation first. Okay, and Botox. We hear a lot about Botox and some of the Hollywood folks who love uh, to get it, but you know, average Joes and Janes get Botox so, too. So Botox is one of these things. So first of all, to, to tell your viewers, Botox is one brand of a class of drugs called neuromodulators. What neuromodulators do is basically block the connection between a nerve and a muscle and force a muscle to relax. Okay. So in and of itself, that's what it does. It mm-hmm. makes a muscle relax. The times we use it are when people overuse certain muscles. So there's some people that walk around with a scowl on their face Mm -hmm. all the time. People are asking them, why are you mad? Why are you irritated? That sort of thing. And they're not feeling that. So honestly, your your face's job is to communicate emotions and affect and state of being. And if it's communicating angry, irritated, worried, tired, when you're not feeling those things, Mm -hmm. that's a perfectly reasonable thing to fix. Now, there's a lot of Hollywood hoopla out there as to what Botox does. It's not designed to freeze a face. It's designed to make a face communicate better. Mm, I love the way you explain that. Good. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. If you are interested in improving your skin, give Dr. Charlie Finn a call at 919-933-9522 or visit finnface.com.